When you see this picture, what sounds do you possibly hear coming from it? Do you maybe hear in the background some birds? Do you maybe hear the gentle lapping waves of the lake coming in onto the shore? Do you maybe hear the wind slightly blowing in the background? Well, I'll tell you when I see this picture, what I hear, I hear this. That's because when you go to visit Lake Louise and Lake Moraine in Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada, you're actually going to be visiting one of the most popular places on the planet. So yeah, that means crowds. So here are some tips that you can use when you want to visit one of the most beautiful and busiest tourist destinations in the world. So before you just show up at Lake Louise, you're really going to want to do a little bit of planning. You have two options when you go to these two popular lakes. You can either drive there in your car, or you can take the park and ride system. If you're going to take your own transportation, be prepared to pay $12.25 at the Lake Louise parking lot. Self-paying kiosks are located inside the parking lot, and it even takes Apple Pay. If you're headed to Lake Moraine, you won't have to pay. However, it's a very small parking lot and fills up very quickly. One person said that they got there at 3.30 in the morning and there are already about 30 cars there. The park and ride system is a bus that'll take you to both lakes in the same day for $11. So you save a dollar and you don't have to worry about the parking. The first bus to Lake Moraine will start at 6 in the morning and the first bus to Lake Louise will start at 8 in the morning. There's a commuter shuttle which takes you in between both lakes. This is included in your $11 price admission. So if you have plans to visit both lakes in the same day, you're all set. So how do you go to some of the most popular places on earth and actually enjoy yourself? Well, the first thing I recommend is getting up super early. I got up around five o'clock in the morning and arrived at the park and ride around 545. If you're gonna use the park and ride, then you'll have to pick which lake you wanna go to first and use the commuter shuttle to go to the other lake if you wish to. When you get your ticket online, it'll make you pick a lake to go to first. I recommend going to Lake Louise first. It's by far the busiest and you'll get there before all the crowds. However, I did Lake Moraine first and I don't regret it. The hike up to Eiffel Lake was absolutely stunning with sweeping views of the 10 peaks. But the truth is, you can't go wrong with whichever lake you pick first. <laughs> this is the reality when you visit Lake Louise. It's one of the most popular places on earth. It's crowded, it's congested, and yeah, there's a lot of people that you're gonna have to, to deal with to get around. But there's also a lot of ways you can take pictures and get your video shots without people in it. You just have to work through the crowds and find that open spot in the lake to get that perfect shot. It is a beautiful area and it's definitely worth checking out. Just set your expectations. Even though it was super busy when I went, I went on a Saturday and then I even went back on Sunday. So I went on the peak time in the summertime. It was incredibly busy, but I gotta give it to the Canadians and the way they handled everything. Really, it wasn't that long at all for me sitting in traffic. I flew right through there. Parking was very easy. They've got it all guided and mapped out very, very well. So I'd say they have actually done the best that they can possibly do given the scenario. But really, you should look into the park and ride system. It's gonna be a tad bit cheaper, and it's gonna give you a better experience. You get to see both lakes, and again, Lake Moraine's hard to park at because it's a small parking lot and fills up quickly, and that parking lot usually stays packed all day long. So the park and ride takes you right to the front steps. To use the park and ride, just use the well laid out signs all throughout town that guide you to the park and ride system. There'll be a small check-in window when you get there. Just tell them your last name. There'll be a confirmation number that'll be emailed to you. Show them that. And then you basically get on the bus and it takes you to the first lake that you pick. In the park and ride area, there's actually a building that has free Wi-Fi, some restaurants, and some restrooms. Even Scooby-Doo and the rest of the gang agree. <laughs> Just an FYI, there's actually no water refill stations at Lake Moraine. However, there was a water refill station at Lake Louise near the restrooms. My name is Eric and I'm traveling for a year in my teardrop trailer. Follow me on my channel for fun adventures from the road and if you like, 
check out my Instagram, where I'm posting daily pictures and reels. Thanks for escaping normal life with me.